we're getting the year off to a good start. Because goodness comes from where? It comes from our, our hearts and our minds. All too often we think that goodness is something we get from somebody else, but we know deep down inside that real goodness has to come from within. You have to be able to generate it from within. That's what your intentions all are about, and the intentions are food for you. So you create good intentions inside, it's food for your other forms of goodness. If you act on those intentions, okay, then the goodness really becomes yours. You have the goodness to be generous, the goodness to observe the precepts, the goodness that comes from, from meditating. The intention to do all these things is, is a good start for the year. As we talk about having a happy new year, we think about the pictures they give of the new year and the old year. The, the old year is always an old man coming in looking pretty battered and worn. And the new year is always a baby looking very hopeful. And you look at the affairs of the world, you can understand why the old year would look so battered and worn. But your heart doesn't have to be battered and worn. It can maintain its newness all the time by acting on good intentions. So you get the year off to a good start, and you're thinking about what other, other good intentions you might try to cultivate in the course of the year. It's always a good use of this convention, that the idea that the new year started today. Didn't see the sun this morning, but I'm pretty sure that it didn't say 2023 20, or 2566 on the sun when it rose. But we've made this convention, this is when the year begins. So to get good use out of the convention, we say, well, how can we make this year better than last year? You look back on your generosity, you look back on your virtue, you look back on your meditation and ask yourself, where is there something still lacking? Say, this year I want to make up the lack. And in that way, the year becomes a good year, and it can stay new and fresh all throughout the year. Because as the Buddha said, these teachings are akaliko, they're timeless. The goodness of generosity is always good. The goodness of virtue, the goodness of meditation is always good. When you're something that's timeless like this, it doesn't age. So this is how you keep the mind young, keep, keep the mind happy, keep your heart young and happy. By constantly looking for sources of goodness inside and trying to cultivate them. All too often we've developed some bad habits as we've grown through life. And then we say, well, this is who I am. I can't change. I can't fake it. But you have to remember, everything that you do is a fabrication. It's something that you put together through your intentions. And through the force of habit, it's become easier and easier just to go down that particular slot. But if that slot leads to something bad, why go? You have the choice. It's not a question of who you really are. It's who, who you want to be, what kind of goodness you want to give rise to in the world. Well, it has to come from here. So maybe you do have to fake it for a while. But as you fake goodness for a while, after all, it becomes genuine. You begin to see that it really is a better life. So try to make your goodness genuine this year. But start out by trying new forms of goodness that you may not have cultivated before. In other words, being generous in new ways, finding ways of being stricter with yourself with the precepts. If you've been observing the five precepts, take some time out, maybe once a week, to observe the eight. And if you meditate it for ten minutes, well, meditate for half an hour. Meditate it for half an hour, meditate for a full hour, and so on up. Because your intention to follow these things it doesn't count as greed, even though there is a desire there. It's skillful desire. There's a desire that's part of the path to the end of suffering. So take some time out to consider what kind of goodness you want to develop this year. And then see if you can carry it through day by day by day. And that way your goodness doesn't depend on the year. It becomes timeless. And as I said, when, when it's timeless, it's always new, always fresh. Something that doesn't get battered and worn. Something that you're going to depend on, that's going to be there solidly for you, because it's always new and fresh. So take this to heart and see what kind of goodness you can develop this year that you didn't have last year. That way the convention becomes something of use.